Good morning, everyone. Please remember in your prayers this morning, Stanley W. Stanley w. Johnson. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King, King of endless glory. <clears throat> Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. 
You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What are you going to do? What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord. Jesus Christ. So the spotlight turns to Judas today and actually tomorrow. Today we hear John's account. Tomorrow it's Matthew's, each telling the story. Part of it's the same in both, but then Matthew includes something that wasn't included in John. So when you put the two together, you get the whole picture of what it is that's going on. But a distinction, I think, that can be made at this point in the story, when we look at Peter's denial and we look at Judas' denial, or what it is that Judas did, Judas denied Christ in his way, and Peter did as well. But the thing that kept the line connected between Peter and Christ was the fact that In the end, Peter did not lose sight of God's mercy, whereas Judas really didn't believe in mercy. So both despaired at what they did, but you see where the paths led. Judas, his path leads to his taking his own life, utter despair, but for Peter, he ran to the mercy of God. He was able to be forgiven. And I think that is so vitally important for persons of faith, people who live their lives dealing with good and bad, struggles and good things. If we do not believe in God's mercy, we are not going to end in a good way. I don't mean that that, we're going to go the same way that Judas did, but when we despair, if there's nothing to hope for, where do you go? And what do you do? And you see how a person's faith can be totally destroyed if they don't believe in God's mercy. Or if they don't believe in the fact that God, in His way and in His time, will reveal 
his plan for each of us. Some of us want to know everything now, and we want to be reassured that all will be well. We don't like to live in this sort of middle ground where we don't know how things are going to play out. We're hoping for something, but we don't know whether it's going to happen or not. Some people handle that better than others. Most of us want all the questions answered now so that we have no surprises. And yet a life of faith is nothing but surprises. You see the difference? So I think it's important for us to realize that if we don't believe in God's mercy for ourselves or for others, we're really setting ourselves up for trouble. And there's not going to be much peace in our life. And we're really going to have a hard time in the end having a relationship with Christ. But if we believe in God's mercy manifested through Christ, then there is forgiveness and then there is renewal, there is healing, and there is the new beginning, which is really what this week is all about. There's not a lot of descriptions about daylight, sun, nighttime in Scripture. Once in a while, they'll talk about the weather and sort of set the stage, but not a lot. But that one little sentence, it was night, period, kind of stands out there. It sort of floats on the page. And it should, because that tells you we're now entering the darkness of the evil spirit trying to manipulate all of this. But God's power is greater. And God is going to use all of this darkness for his own purpose. So in our own lives, then, there, is time, there are times of darkness, but there's always the movement toward the light. I mean, and then that's what Holy Week is about as well. We're going to end this week in light and new beginnings and new life. So it's an important lesson to be learned when we look at Peter, we look at Judas. We want to make sure that we're, with, we're over here and not over here. And if we remind ourselves of that each day, the Lord can give us his grace and help us out. We bring to the Lord our prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis, the vicar of Christ on earth, may God continue to bless him and sanctify him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national leaders, may the Lord show them the path to promoting the common good for all persons. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all with chronic illnesses, may they be upheld and strengthened through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of this faith community, may God's providential love for us encourage and sustain us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God grant them his peace and his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we bring to you our prayers, entrusting them to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Now, the Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one announcement or just a reminder that our penance service is this evening at 7 o'clock. So if you haven't been to confession yet, it's important that you get to confession uh, sometime between now and the celebration of Easter. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a good day, everyone.